Governors presented a proposal of 394.5 billion shillings in equitable share, which represents 42.1% of the national revenue. However, the National Treasury recommended that the devolved units share out 285.3 billion shillings, representing 30.4% of the national revenue. On the other hand, the Commission on Revenue Allocation proposed a figure of 331.7 billion shillings, representing 35.4% of the equitable share. The governors were not bulging on their proposal. This saw the government convene the intergovernmental summit chaired by the president to reach a deal. However, the Council of Governors chairman Peter Munya claims the National Treasury acted in bad faith after the Sagana meeting. The Treasury has gone ahead and submitted to Parliament on the 12th of February 2016 and day after the summit meeting, its estimates on the division of revenue. This state of affairs not only represents lack of good faith, but also the national government's lack of commitment towards devolution. He says counties vacated their proposal of 394.5 billion shillings and settled on Sierra's recommendation of 331.7 billion shillings because it represented a 2% increase in what they got last year. Percentage increase to county government's equitable share from the 2015-2016 financial year of 33.44% to 35.4% as opposed to the National Treasury's position of 30.45% which indicated a decrease in percentage allocation. He argues that counties should be allocated more to finance increased devolved functions such as library services, water services as well as functions performed by regional development authorities. The governments have a total of 121,000 456 uh, kilometers of roads network with no allocation, while the national government has only 39,995 kilometers of road network with an annual budget of 102 billion. Governors have now pinned their hopes of getting more allocations on the Senate. So governors, therefore, request the Senate through the 47 elected senators who directly represent the interests of the counties to reject these proposals by the National Treasury and adopt the proposals that have been presented by the Commission on Revenue Allocation. Zainab Mohammed for Business Insight.